A man has 14 coins in his pocket, all of which are dimes and quarters. If the total value of his change is $2.75, how many dimes and how many quarters does he have? Okay, we are working with systems of equations. So I know I can use two variables. So I can have an X and a Y. But if I have two unknowns, two variables, I have to have two equations, two facts that I know are true. Okay, so I do know that this man has dimes and quarters. So I need to define my variable. So I'm going to let D equal the number of dimes and Q equal the number of quarters. So I need two equations. So what facts do you know? Okay, I do know that he has 14 coins in his pocket, all of which are dimes and quarters. So I will let D plus Q, my dimes plus my quarters, equal 14. This is not how much they're worth, just how many coins is in his pocket. It's the dimes plus the quarters. He has 14. Okay, I also know the value of the change. How much money does he have in his pocket? Not too much. He can't buy too much with $2.75. But anyway, for this problem, he has $2.75. This is the value. Well, how much is a dime worth? It's worth 10 cents. So, to get the value of a dime, it will be 10 cents times how many dimes do you have? So you have five dimes, 10 cents times five dimes, 50 cents. How much is a quarter worth? 25 cents, so 0.25 times how many quarters do you have? That's the value of your quarters. Put them together and they should equal the value of the money in his pocket, which is $2.75. So I do have a system of equation, so I can solve for my two variables. Now these decimals are not that big of a deal. If I want to get rid of the d's, I can multiply them by a negative 0.10d. But just to make my life a little simpler, I'm going to get rid of the decimals. I have two numbers behind the decimal point here, two numbers behind the decimal point there, two numbers here. I'm going to multiply the second equation by 100. When I multiply by 100, I move everything to the right two places. So I will have no decimal points. The first equation, I am going to write it again. I like to keep my system together. I'll have just D plus Q equals 14. And the second equation, I'm multiplying everything times 100. 100 times 0.10 is just 10. D, of course. 100 times 0.25Q is 25Q equals 100 times 2.75 is 275. I have no decimal points. They weren't bad but I prefer not to have them. Was it okay that I multiplied everything by 100? Yes, because I did it to both sides. I multiplied the left side by 100. I also multiplied the right side by 100. I just wrote it as one big parentheses, but I did, I multiplied both sides by 100. Okay, we have a system of equation. Do you want to solve this by substitution, which you could, you could solve for this D, that would be pretty easy, solve for this Q. Or do you want to solve this by elimination? I could do it both ways. I'm going to solve this by elimination. I see that my D's are lined up, great. I see my Q's are lined up, wonderful, equals my constant. Everything's lined up nicely. Would you like to eliminate the D's or the Q's? I'm going to choose to eliminate the D's, which means that I'm going to multiply this entire equation by a negative 10. And of course, you know, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. I will leave the second equation as it is. 
the first equation, multiplying everything by negative 10. I will get negative 10D minus 10Q is equal to 14 times a negative 10 is a negative 140. I will write my second equation. I'm not doing anything to it, but I want to keep my system lined up. Don't try to do things in your head. You will make a careless error, possibly. Let's do some eliminating. Add them up. A negative 10D and a positive 10D, they cancel. I planned it that way. Negative 10Q and a positive 25Q is a positive 15Q equals negative 140 and a positive 275 a positive 135 and you know what to do now divide both sides by 15 our Q will equal 9 okay I have my Q but I have two variables I need to find my dimes I will go back to one of my top equations one of my easier ones I will choose D plus Q equals 14 that was my first equation I now know that my quarters are 9, so I will substitute 9 for Q, subtract 9 from both sides, and D will equal 5. So I now know, with a little bit of help from math, that that man has 9 quarters and 5 dimes in his pocket.